has done the things, ladies and gentlemen. Last week on the show, we caught up with Matri FM producer of the Sacred Space, Mrs. Tami Nguweni, Romeo Mabasa, who is, you know, getting ready for the Comrades Marathon. I was so jealous, and I was actually trying to find him on the screen. I'm like, okay, Rome, where art thou, Romeo? Romeo! <laughs> Hi guys, I've always wanted to say that. Hi guys, okay, my name is Romeo and uh, I'm going to, to be running uh, my second uh, comrades and it's called Back to Back. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Faith Mavasa. Thank you so much um, to all my returning subscribers and welcome to the new subscribers. I see we've grown a little bit. I know I, I've been inconsistent, but there's a reason for that, guys. I've really been <coughs> sorry. <coughs> I've really been so sick. Yeah, I had the flu, the flu for like this is the fourth week, but I'm feeling way, way, way much better. The flu is clearing now. It's just the cough that's left. Anyway, I don't want this intro to be too long. I just came here to say, um, to say what? <laughs> to open the vlog, actually. Um, I don't want the intro to be long. And anyway, um, yeah, I wanted to say, to introduce the vlog. We are in Durban. It's Comrades Marathon again. I really wasn't feeling up to vlogging because you know i'm still not really well like strength wise and i don't want to talk for too long because then you know then i start coughing but anyway i really want to document this for my husband um he's really done well in terms of preparing and getting ready for comrades oh my god guys i was i'm running a bath i think the water <laughs> um let's see Oh, we are just in time. Look, guys. Look, oh my god. Okay, so maybe let me just finish the, the intro in here. Or maybe not. Mm, should I? Okay, I can hold it. The. But now, you know the trick thing about when you vlogging or recording in front of the mirror? You don't know whether to look into the mirror or to look into the camera hmm it's a tricky one but anyway guys this, i did say i don't want this uh, intro to be too long i just wanted to um do an intro to say we are in durban um for the comrades marathon my husband is why am i holding the camera you see let me go back to my spot actually yeah i think let me just go back and click it oh guys i love this i love this hotel but we're gonna change hotels today this is where my husband has been staying since Wednesday. I love, let me, this is the the most um, thing I love mostly. It's just that the room is a bit messy. Let me show it to you like this. Oh, also, why do I have the music on? Where's mute? Okay, let's mute and that. I love this, um, this. Sorry guys, I was, I was now losing focus um, instead of, let me sit here and um i was also drinking coffee wow guys and you said busy cool intro but yeah um so hubby's running tomorrow i arrived last night um around yeah i landed at seven and then we we had dinner at the airport and then you know we came to the hotel um yeah so i just came here i wanted to say hello We'll be going to the expo around midday. They are meeting there um, as a club, waterfall running club. But I'll be seconding. 
I don't know. So I'll meet my husband. I think it'll be around. Is it 50, 59 point, 15, 53 point something or 57 kilometers? Um, so that's where I'll be uh, at that water point. So guys, I just wanted to say good morning and welcome and i'm officially opening the vlog so we will be going to i think i'll catch you guys on when we go to the expo or later on before i haven't had breakfast as yet hubby has gone for um for breakfast and then he's going to cut his hair and then he's going to come back and move and then i think yeah we'll go to the expo let me get ready i'm going to bath right now and then have my coffee and get ready and I'll catch you guys on later on. Bye. Look. Who's back from the... My husband's phone is ringing. Let me see. It's ringing. I'm not sure about the lip. Hello. Guys, I love my hair. Look at my hair. And I just like a face bit. Guys, I've been feeling so sick all along. So... Let me, let me forget to meet this thing. Uh, where's the good lighting? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. So, guys, I've been sick for so long. Ah, I feel alive. So, I had to do like a young face bit because after the expo, we're going to go somewhere with hubby. Ah, I feel so cute. Oh, yes, guys, let me show you my full outfit. Oh, yes, I think I'm going to. So, this is the set. These are actually pants. I should have gone a little bit back. Uh, let me go back, back, back. Yeah. So, these are shorts, like Palazzo shorts. Let's uh, uh, just that. Actually, got the set um, in Tambe. I, I forgot her Instagram page but i'll put her i'll put it here somewhere so yeah i really love this set it's short loose and uh, that's the look for today that's the fit for today and that's the face for today i feel so much better guys like i feel well not even much better i really really feel well so i am grateful <laughs> My perfume is still, I'm just, so yeah guys, here's the look with um, natural lighting, this is how I look, I love it, love it, love it, love it in my hair, ooh, and it's so cute, and it's so cute, and it's so cute, okay guys, we need to get going, it's now 5 past 11, I'm craving, I've been craving for a bunny chow, so we're gonna go look for a bunny chow, and then my husband needs to be at the expo by 12. And then, yeah, from there, I think we'll go to, I don't know, we'll see. We'll catch you guys on as the day progresses. Bye! I love this look. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the Hi guys, I've always wanted to say that. Hi guys. Okay, my name is Romeo. And uh, I'm going to, to be running uh, my second uh, comrades. And it's called Back to Back. And Back to Back is you've done your first comrades. And then when you do the second one, they give you two medals at the end. So last year, I did 11.27. And uh, this year, I'm planning to beat that. So I've, I've, I've really upped the challenge for myself, but I am gonna do it. And remember, the theme for this year's comrade is personal commitment. Your ability to always show up for yourself, up the stakes and get things done. No more, no more excuses, no more blaming other people, get things done. And that's why I'm doing this. So now here I've got my bag. Uh, we have what we call a talk bag facility. So because I'll be smelly, it's oh, important wow. for me to get, uh, uh, so I've got my toiletries here. I'm going to leave them uh, in a talk bag uh, facility. And a talk bag facility is like free storage that we'll get at the end. So follow me on this journey 
and uh, I, I, I know that it will definitely inspire you. Remember this name, Romeo Mabas. Yeah? So <laughs> This is the top bed facility. So here you are able to drop uh, your stuff and then they're going to lock it and then uh, you will definitely get it at the end. So come with me. You want to shut up with This is my toggy talk. Yeah. So I am gonna find it at the end. Yeah. And how do you guys uh, uh, know? Because uh, it's a lot of it's a lot of bags in there. How do you then uh, sort of classify them so that when I come, how am I gonna find it? Oh, so you, oh, you have two numbers. So you're gonna give me one. And then what happens if I lose this? Oh, what's your name? Can you say that's so casual? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you, uh, I'm, I'm gonna have this number and then you're gonna have this number. And then all I do is just present this number. Okay. And then uh, uh, how safe is it? How, how safe is the process? Okay, but then you could care with that. Safe, safe, I don't have to worry about it. If my two branches is busy. <laughs> Alright, well, thank you so much. Okay, cool. Alright. I but the lighting is The lighting is bad. Yeah. Okay. Yes, you must put at that side. So, you know, the, 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 the good thing about Comrades is there's quite a lot of reflection. You know, there's a lot of reflection on yourself as a person, you know. And, and those of you who know me will know that running was never any part of my agenda. But, you know, uh, if I. Sorry, who you... brought it to your agenda? Eh? Who brought it to your agenda? Oh, Running, yes. <laughs> I think it was never part of your agenda. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, well, someone is asking for credit. <laughs> I see what you're doing. All right. So, uh, uh, actually, when my wife and I met, uh, she was she was running, but she actually used to belong to a club. And then when we started dating, I remember her charming me like, Hi Romeo, do you run? And I'm That's like, Yo, girl. And then she was talking by her nose, by the way. Exactly what I'm saying. But anyway, uh, as you call up. So, uh, and, and she really introduced me to... Please to don't lose that. Give it to me. Thank you, love. Uh, uh, she introduced us to running. She introduced us because we started running together. Uh, but due to uh, knee injury, as you know, obviously there are those limitations. But I, I represent it. So when I'm running, I'm running for both of us. Excellent. Uh, so you'll notice every time I get to the finish line and she's crying, it's because she feels <laughs> like she's the one who ran. <laughs> but yeah. I think it's important to always take interest you know maybe let me let me sideline a bit you must always take interest in what your partner is doing you know? and you see me taking part in what my partner was doing i ended up actually running and and i can say now i run proper you know i'm not at the elite level but i'm running i do my 5k's it's 21 minutes i do my 10k's it's 47 minutes i do my 15k's it's 160 i do my 20k's it's 143 i do my 21 it's 148 and then my marathon is 3.59. I'm officially sub-4 now. My 50, 5.05. Well and then done. obviously, as I said, my comrades uh, in 2023, it was 11.27. So let's see how this year we do. But definitely we are going to cut a couple of uh, an hour or so into the comrades 2024. And I really, really hope my journey inspires you. And if, if, if you know you want to say something or you want me to comment on something, do leave uh, your questions at the comment section and then I will definitely get to it. But do follow your, your guy on social media as well. On IG it's uh, Romeo.Danyani, uh, on, on X is uh, uh, Maromza and then find Romeo Mabasa on, uh, uh, on Twitter, I mean on Facebook. I think. Uh, and then also I've got two accounts, it's uh, Romeo uh, Motivational Speaker Mabasa or Romeo Mabasa. Then, and I, 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 do, I do follow back. And if you want to uh, start running, Leave your comments and uh, tell us what your journey is like. And if you are doing comrades, tell us how you did. That would be awesome, actually. So I look forward to hearing from you.
Alright, so as you can see my time is uh, Saturday 8 June. It's uh, 11 minutes after 2. And uh, so we came to the expo. Oh, you're here. Uh, it's quite a big expo, you can see, you know, uh, show the people. What a huge, huge expo, different products. And what I can say to you guys is that, you know, this sport of running is actually a very, very, very lucrative sport. If you have any ideas to sell anything within the running community, trust me, South Africa is a booming market. Worldwide, it is estimated to be at about $30 billion. You know, uh, and remember, it's shoes, it's, it's clothes, I mean, all these things you buy, it's a, it's, it's a running watch, it's a, a lot of uh, your, your tracking devices. So think up of an idea and what you can sell, what you can do, start Googling different ideas about sports and then try and see if you can, you can, you can sell it. Now, the reason why I invited you here, I've got, uh, uh, so in, 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 in running, especially when you're gonna run in Jorens, we have what we call um, cover loading. And cover loading is, you need to eat certain foods uh, so that it helps you preserve your strength. So now, uh, come closer. I have here, I have, uh, I'm gonna have potatoes. So you can either have uh, potatoes, you can have uh, uh, sweet potato. And if I'm having potatoes with uh, chicken, at least for taste, but it's important to eat a lot of carbo. So you'll hear in our language, you say carbo -loading. So there's a lot of carbohydrates that you need to make sure that you have protein, you know, so that you see I'm eating now, and then maybe I'll eat uh, before I sleep, and then I'm gonna wake up at like 2 a.m. and eat again, so that I have enough food in my body. You know, because I'm gonna be burning, you know, it's like, you know, you're burning, you know, if you drive a car, you're burning a lot of fuel. So also I'll be born in, burning a lot of, uh, you know, and that's why we sweat a lot and, and stuff like that, because, you know, you, you, you kind of like, the body is really spending, you know. So I'm gonna have my lunch now, and then I'll catch up with you guys uh, later. This is premium content. Tell your friends, you must subscribe to this channel, okay? I thought it was long, you know. If I stay. Thank you, baby. Oh. Guys, I'm so tired. So, good evening guys, uh, it is Saturday 8 June, it's the day before the big day and you might be asking, nerves, anxiety, you know, anxiousness or whatever, but I find that uh, when you prepare, you know, it's like preparing for an exam and you know that you've studied. You know, and, and you find that it's easier to manage your nerves and your frustrations and, you know, uh, because you went through the process. Um, so I think it's critical for us to always have that, you know. So I'm not nervous. Um, I'm not, you know, I'm not worried because I have trained. So what I, what I want to do in this segment really is take you through uh, how I prepare because I'm sure most of you are asking yourself, and I know it's daunting, you're running comrades, you know, it's all difficult and all that. So one of the things that I did very well was to discipline myself from running alone. Because I know I've got a club, uh, as you can see, I run for the Waterfall uh, City Athletics Club, and we are based in Johannesburg, and we run mostly from uh, Waterfall Corner, or we run from uh, polo fields. In fact, uh, now we started running uh, from polo fields uh, because we proudly have uh, a sponsorship uh, by SPA, you know, SPA polo fields. So it's actually quite nice. But one of the things I needed to do, A, 
And by the way, I actually started training for comrades in December 2023. And I just woke up and started running. But first things first, I needed to discipline. And I still love my club. So club members, if you are listening, I still love you. And just because you haven't really seen me much at the club, it doesn't mean that I'm not there. What I needed to do was discipline and remove myself from mob psych, you know, because sometimes you feel encouraged to always, you know, you get the courage because others are there, you know. But as you know, the big day comes and you have to run your race alone. And, and you see this even when some of our colleagues are injured on the road, you know, you can just say, hey, sorry, get well, but you have to keep going because it's your race, you know. Uh, uh, you do have instances where Vela, one of our colleagues is really, really pressed and uh, we have to stop, like, you know, it's bad and we have to stop. But uh, generally, that's why they have medics on the road. You know, there's ambulances and 911s and all that to take care of people that are battling, uh, you know, uh, with injuries and, and so forth. So first things, I needed to work on the discipline of running by myself. And it, it, it's very, very challenging and it's very... It's boring at times because it's just me alone on the road and, and, and all that. But I got that right. So running alone for a long distance. And, and I couple that with endurance. Endurance is really, really running furthest, obviously, at a ground pace. You know, so being able to wake up and do like 40, 40 case on a Tuesday. You know, go do 37 on a Wednesday. I remember there's a time the highest uh, kilometer that I've done or kilometers that I've done in a week was 139, you know, just do 20, 25, 32, 25, 15. And then it came by the end of the week, I had done 139. And then I went to like the 120s and 116. But bottom line is for me, because I was preparing for comrades, I needed to at least try and get to 85 per week. Because remember, 2023, it was 85.91. So I needed to teach my body that we are going to run 86 Ks. So you understand Then I started it per day. So that was very important. So number one, uh, running alone for longer. Number two, I worked a lot on my endurance training. So running faster and running uh, longer. So that was the, so what I did there was really look at, you know, my pacing, and then look at my heart rate. So, you know, your heart rate as they calculate, uh, you know, and, and our watches and all that, they're not uh, that accurate, but at least they give you an indication <clears throat> where you are. So for me, it was 220 minus my age, and I know I knew that I, I couldn't uh, go over a certain uh, threshold. So that's what I was working on. And I, I got that right. And then after that, I then started putting a little bit of speed, you know, so that I can run fast, uh, because I find that if you can run fast, when you do a, you know, sort of a, 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 a higher uh, pace, then you don't feel it. So I started running in the pace of 450, 438, 450. So when I did like 545, I didn't feel it. So which meant that I can run 45, uh, 545 for longer. So, so that was very, very important. And then the, I think the most important one was also locking the pace. Uh, I struggled a bit with that, I still struggle a bit, to run one pace from beginning to end. And that is very difficult. You know, for example, I've also, I, I also battled a lot with uh, hills. So the hills were a bit challenging until I figured out that running through a hill, I need to run up and I must stop worrying about the hill. I must just run up and I got that right. Uh, still work in progress there, but I got that right. And then overall, uh, so from December, I really, really ran. And obviously there are marathons in between because we needed to qualify. I remember uh, the first race that I did was uh, the uh, 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 Akashia one, Akashia uh, at um, uh, Wonder Park. And then I ran uh, for, my race was 414. And I'm like, what? And then I trained again. And then I went to Eden Vale. It was uh, 412. I'm like, what? And then from there, I went to, uh, that's when we, ran, we we went to run two oceans in Cape Town. And then my marathon was 404. I'm like, wait a minute, you know? Then I knew that my way, uh, the Centurion one, would be the one way it gets me to sub four. And lo and behold, I actually ran 359 at uh, my way. And that's how it got me to a D sitting for Comrades 2023. So I think overall, it's important to understand that you need to 
show up for yourself and don't be afraid to set high standards because remember the good thing is you're not sharing it with anybody it's for yourself and you have to hit those standards you know you cannot be happy to set standards for other people or others set the standard for you and you meet those standards but you never set standards for yourself remember commitment is your ability to say i am going to do see this thing to the end and you do it that way so that's how i, I that's my snapshot of how i prepare for comrades and um, as i said today uh, by the time you watch this uh, i've recorded this on the 8th of june and the following day it was a sunday the 9th when we're gonna run comrades 2024 thank you so much so the next time you see me it's going to be when i get to 60 k's and uh, uh we'll see how we will be looking thank you very much and do follow follow our journey by subscribing so that uh, we can grow the channel together so um uh, this next segment i want to look at uh, my beer and then i'll explain earlier on i spoke about uh back to back and uh what it means so how do you spot if someone is wearing a back to back number i'll start on my race t-shirt uh, you can see uh, the the red line and it has two lines on the side if you don't have back to back it will just be straight it will just be the the, the thirsty and then you don't have those two lines so uh, here it shows you that I am definitely back to back you know so um, I'm, I'm the one to watch obviously you can see that I've run one uh, I've done one comrade already and uh, you know your name so sometimes you find that people are busy screaming your name and you think they know you so this it's nice you know so hey Romeo and then you know you just wave and you know fist pump and uh, you know but the most important thing is try and uh, look the part look like you're enjoying the race because uh, you know it will get to a point where it is difficult but I think at the end of the day you know it's a process and you are passing you know and as they say one of the best advice I got was you know as hard as it gets just make sure you put one foot you know uh, forward and you just keep moving before long you realize that you're about uh, to end so that's uh, my t-shirt obviously it's a bit cold so it's gonna be long sleeve and then i'm gonna wear this t-shirt with uh, the black one obviously the uh, club colors it's important so i'll wear this one inside to make sure that at least i'm warm and then i've got a uh, new guards palae uh, i'm growing up i'm 50 years old so <laughs> it's important so i'm gonna put this from the beginning to the end just make sure that i i keep my knees at least you know nicely uh, tucked in you know in case i they, they get wobbly as you can and i start uh, going left and it's very important we compress so these are compression socks uh, uh at least you know make sure that at least you take care of your muscles you see so they are nice and long so you wear you wear these uh, and then also they, they, they've got blister resistance and at least they protect your heel as well so so that you know you don't suffer a lot of blisters and one of the things that we do with the shoes as well is I, I wear size 12, but then for like uh, comrades, I will wear size 13 because I want to leave my toes nice and wiggly inside. Uh, otherwise, then you get there, you realize that you're not toes. And that's why you'll notice <laughs> with a lot of us runners, you know, we have blisters and, you know, there's blood in your toes because, you know, like your toes are squashed and you're running for longer. So I, I, I got that right and I've been very, very happy with the type of shoes uh, that I have. And then obviously, uh, you know, I mean, friction on your on your thighs so it's important uh, so i have this uh, under armor uh, uh, you know in my days we used to call it stuffy uh, stuff pipe <laughs> so i've got uh, uh, these tights uh, from under armor and they're quite nice and this helps a lot with the friction between your thighs but what we do as well is you put vaseline when you start you know so that at least you can manage the the friction because otherwise then you, you it's going to bend up and the pain is unbearable so that's why most of us would wear a tights inside to make sure that at least you know process and this one has actually uh, been uh, one of the best and then obviously the club cap uh, which is my favorite and then you know so that um, you know for the sun and then because it's early morning most it's very cold around uh, 4 4 30 in the morning so i have my gloves and then uh, the beanie to make sure that i protect my ears and then I still love the 2023 uh, buff so that I can protect my nose because also it's, it can get a bit uh, cold in the morning. And then uh, I wear then my, my pants. I, I prefer long pants, you know, and then they actually work for me. And finally, I've got my pouch with, uh, uh, with uh, my uh, supplements. And the supplements, uh, if you come closer, uh, the supplements is really just... Uh, uh, you know, uh, it is like, you know, these energy bars, you know, I'll take them every 
10 kilometers and then obviously you you know your syrups and then but more importantly i also have uh, your creme basalt by 32 gi and uh, this also helps a lot to manage your cremes yeah, and then i have a uh, 32 gi bars and then mostly your jungle oats bars but i also have your 32 gi uh, bars as well they actually do help because remember you cannot be running that long and you are not eating you know so if you uh, at water points you know you get to eat you know drink water but eat something so that you you rebuild your strength and i think uh, uh, finally all of us get this envelope if i can bring it close and you know there is my number i'm at the d seating and uh you know uh, in my age category but uh, what i want to show you is <clears throat> the medal the medals which is very important so all of us have a goal in mind to say which medal am I going for? And then I'll take you through the medals quickly. Uh, the medals are awarded uh, for men and women. So you have obviously your top 10 will get gold. Um, and then uh, we have Wally, Wally Hayward for men from position 11. And that is sub six and sub six is they do the full marathon in less than six hours. And then you have uh, uh, Isabel Roche for women. And that is uh, they do the, the marathon in sub seven, which is less than seven hours. And then you have silver, they do it in uh, seven hour th uh, less than seven hours, 30 minutes. And then from, uh, 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 you have Bill Rowan, and then it's uh, from seven hour 30 minutes to 8.59, you know. And so you go to comrades with a, um, a medal in mind, uh, basically. So uh, last year I got the last one, which is Vic Clapham, which is uh, 11 to 11.59. I came in, I think, at 11.27, right? So uh, this year, I have promised myself I'm going to celebrate if I can cut at least an hour or so. Uh, from So I come in at 10.27. That's the aim. But if, I, if my body allows me to move, I am going to move. And then I will do another... Uh, so when I close, uh, when I close this vlog, uh, it will probably be at the end as well, where I tell you how I'm, I'm, I've done. Uh, I, I think I need to pay my uh, camera uh, a production team to be at the end. So I'll keep them posted in terms of how far I go, I'm going. But also remember, with uh, this thing, you are able to track me as well on uh, the Comrades app. You know, obviously this will be, the, the vlog will be available after the Comrades is done. But you are able to track, most of the uh, races have trackers. So you'll be able to track uh, your person, whoever that you are following. So yeah, um, this is uh, my my comrades journey and i'm not afraid uh, i'm not afraid to dare myself and it is my wish to challenge you as well set the highest goal that you've ever you've never achieved and then go for it and who knows you might surprise yourself and achieve it and not only achieve it but achieve it well thank you your voice now it's not the only one guys <laughs> it's the runner! Yeah.
This thing is done. You know, I have to say, the uprun is very, very challenging. Uh, in that, you know, you are always climbing. You know, and for me, it kind of like gave me a reflection on how our lives are. You know, you always climbing. But what I like, and what we often say in running, is that when it gets harder, just make sure that uh, you know you you just one leg forward, and that's that's what you do. You know, you have to keep going. You know, there are moments where one feels like, eh, do I really have to do this? You know, I mean, like I paid for myself, it's not like I have a sponsor, maybe I should stop. But then you remember why you started. And, and really, as we close this vlog, I really, really want you to reassess the level of your commitment, especially commitment to yourself. So as you can see here, I've got uh, two medals. And the other one, uh, if you can zoom, you can see it's written uh, back to back. And then this is the actual uh, medal. So I managed to get uh, bronze, uh, which is uh, sub 11. And sub 11 is I came in before the 11th hour of the official race. So I am very, very excited, uh, a bit uh, tired. Uh, I walk like a penguin, <laughs> uh, but it, it is expected because, you know, I really, really put my muscles, uh, my legs to work. And uh, the most important thing is I always want you to remember this. I look at your level of commitment and when we started we spoke about how you show up for everybody how you are always there for everybody you actually find yourself so happy that so and so thanked you you find yourself so sad that so and so didn't thank you you know because you, you, you are good at showing up for everybody else but yourself and secondly I want you to reassess how many of your commitments you've dropped and I want you to assess why you dropped it. And then thirdly, you have to celebrate every every win. You have to celebrate every loss because what we're looking at, we celebrate the process uh, that you made an effort. You know, obviously a loss is not nice, but you celebrate an effort. So I am so proud as I go and rest. The good thing is I'm going to be eating, I'm going to be sleeping. And uh, the good thing is uh, by the time you actually watch this vlog i'm actually on leave so i'm gonna be resting and i'm gonna have all the potatoes that i want <laughs> and it's gonna be actually quite nice but 
Remember, commitments. Remember, you have to show up for yourself and you actually have to take yourself seriously twice as much and make sure that you set those goals. And not only set the goals, but you have to go after them. You have to make them uh, happen. And you're doing this for yourself. With that said, thank you very much for following my Comrades 2024 journey. And to my executive producer, my wife, thank you for uh, doing this thing for, for us. When I'm famous, I'm going to pay you. Uh, this is the executive producer, the wife. Uh, I'm very proud of you. I'm very proud that you committed, you showed up for yourself. Um, you put in the work, you really did. And I am super proud of you. And yeah, here's to Comrades 2025. I know you'll do even way, way better. Um, you did exceptionally well this year. And given the fact that it was an up run, uh, yeah, man, I, I was really amazed at your how you performed. But not really amazed per se, because I know and I've seen how you've put in the work, you know, waking up every morning, um, even when it's cold. You're just like you know what i am doing this well done my baby i'm so proud of you as the executive uh, producer i'll wait for my paycheck um to come into the mail in the meantime i'll send you the invoice but yeah i love you so much and i'm so so proud of you are you calling or there's no other place i'd rather be but to be here and to show up for you as well and to support you i love you so much bye 11 o'clock good morning to you and yours if you join us well welcome and if you've been here my breaker i love it it's where you want to be no need to touch now 12 o'clock on the way we've got the midday link up coming through with al kg levato hanyaho proverb and mal i know that uh levato did mention today she's got duties for the country so we love you and wishing you all the best al kg proudly somebody who i'm really proud of Somebody who is just doing and who has done the things, ladies and gentlemen. Last week on the show, we caught up with Metro FM producer of the Sacred Space, with Sis Tami Nguweni, Romeo Mabasa, who is, you know, getting ready for the Comrades Marathon. I was so jealous, and I was actually trying to find him on the screen. I'm like, okay, Rome, where are the Romeo? Romeo! <laughs> <laughs> Romeo, congratulations! Go, oh, thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Man, I'm so happy. <laughs> oh man, I'm so proud of you. No, genuinely, Romeo, Ro I was looking for you. Uh, oh, you yeah, <laughs> have, man. Yeah. Yo. Was it? Tell us Yo. You completed it. What was your finishing time? How do you feel? I am so stoked. I am so excited. But more importantly, I am so proud of me because, oh. you know you have to take the time to appreciate your existence and this is exactly how i feel right now and my time was 10 53 uh, because i was aiming for uh, sub 11 and uh, that means i needed to finish before 11 hours so i came in at 10 53 and i am officially a bronze comrades finisher man <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love the love even um <coughs> Romeo ten fifty three. Bronze is the medal that he carries. Yes. I think more than anything at this point, you are carrying more weight on you than the weight you came into the uh, comrades with. How do you honestly feel about the recovery now that you're going through? Is it what you expected in terms of recovering? How's it going there? Yeah, so in terms of recovery, look, it takes time because remember, you, you have applied all your muscles. Uh, but uh, mm -hmm. what we found is that when you're doing an up run, you are actually using all your muscles. So the recovery is quicker than if you are just doing like a down run where there's, you're just using less muscles because you are running down. Uh, but in terms of uh, overall feeling, I'm feeling happy. And because also when you've trained properly and you've trained hard, you know, uh, like today I actually did a five kilometer run, you know, just to test if, I, if my legs are still alive. So I am good. So but potentially it's going to take maybe for the next two weeks. Uh, there's not much running. Uh, it's really just resting. And, and one of the most amazing thing is you eat whatever you like now. 
and then uh, you recover, you rest, and then from there you can start uh, non-running activities like swimming, you know, cycling, walking a lot. But bottom line is, I feel awesome, and I am so excited because it's really. Last week we spoke about personal commitment, and the most amazing and a blessed thing you can do for yourself is to actually see see it through, and you actually can feel it. I I set this goal. And then I achieved it, and the world was there to celebrate with me. So it's one of the most awesome things you can do for yourself. You know, Romeo, I need to just check in on you as well, and I need you to let us know about your mental state in terms of the mental benefits of running, right? And especially running something like the Comrades Marathon, there's somebody listening right now who is part of it as well, yeah. and wants to hear what you were saying in terms of the mental benefits that you gain personally versus theirs. Yeah, so in terms of, uh, look, <clears throat> most of us uh, are strong enough to run to, like, because all, all your ultra marathons, like your, uh, 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 you know, 56Ks, 48Ks, 60Ks, those are our regulars. I think you really, really start getting tested uh, mentally because your body at some point will give up because it's like, hey, I, I think I'm done my fair share of running. What's up? You know, so then that's when now your mental strength comes in to say, you know what, I have to put one foot forward and keep going but you will be tested and i love what somebody said that in this in this uh, marathon you'll actually discover someone you didn't know in yourself and uh, you'll either love or hate that person it's up to you <laughs> but in terms of the mental strength in uh, in terms of the mental strength that's what carries you to the end really. and uh, i found that you know what it actually works and that's why i think one of the things that i i, I actually didn't mention the the, the last time is you must learn to run on your own as far and furthest as you can go. Because sometimes there comes a time where it's over 20,000 of us, but you feel like, you know what, I'm alone here. Sure. Yeah. I love that you bring in that point because I'm also thinking, how do you block out everyone? Focus on yourself, focus on what your mind is telling you to do, your body, etc. But we are super, super proud of you. From myself, everyone at Metro FM, uh, your colleagues, I know management is proud of you. Thank and you so much. As a goodbye, because we've got uh, this, uh, you know, gratitude journal that we have yeah. as a breakaway family, I want to ask you, Romeo, what are you grateful for? Number one, I'm grateful for life uh, because uh, in this sport there are casualties. Uh, there are people sometimes, you know, who never really get to the end for the various reasons. I'm, 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 I'm really, really, really appreciative of my body. <laughs> it carried me to the end. I, I appreciate my mind and its level of discipline, not giving up when I felt like giving up. But more importantly, I'm grateful to my wife, you know, family support, uh, my club, and you know people taking their time out you know paying for themselves to come to Devon to come and support us and that's what you know you see and what i love about the sport is you know uh, irrespective of your color creed or who you are we are one and it's it's such an amazing thing that we actually you know all of us are wearing the, the comrades uh, t-shirts and uh, you hear people saying hey nice t-shirt i'm like hey i love yours yours is better than mine <laughs> so it's so beautiful man but more importantly I appreciate you for taking your time and the segment to really talk to me. So thank you so much. Thank you, Given, and thank you to all our listeners. Thank you so much, Romeo Mabas. I completed the Comrades Marathon, and to you, Romeo, your efforts and dedication, I think more than anything, really paid off. So thank you very much, Romeo, for thank you so much. it uh, with the nation. We awesome. appreciate you. Have a great one, and okay. see you soon. Cheers. Bye-bye. But, uh, what a beautiful conversation, man. Oh, and look how cool that is. So that is actually Hubby's aerial snapshot, if I could call it that. <laughs> Showing him running from Devon all the way to Peter Maritzburg. Um, family, I just want to thank everyone who has supported us in this journey. To our friends, to our family, to our church community. Everyone who showed us love. Um, for Romeo's Comrades Marathon. I just want to personally take this moment to thank you and I hope all of you subscribers and those who haven't subscribed, you enjoyed this video. And please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Let us engage on the comment section. And yeah, that's it. So that's happy there um, at the finish line.